Hi, I'm Ed. And I'm Barb. And, and we're, we're the, the Streeters. Welcome to the RDRV channel where we teach, share, and explain everything about glass. That's right, Barb. And this week's project, we're making a memory box. These boxes are so awesome. They have two chambers, one chamber for your memories at the bottom, the other chamber for your LED light. If you're making a four inch by four inch square box, you're gonna have two sides that are four inches and two sides that are four and a quarter inches so that they overlap, meet one another, and this gives you a nice solder joint down the side. This section is clear. All they have to do is look in the box and they can see the memory that you put in there for them. Makes lots of fun. On the go. Here we go. With RDRV. Let's set up our portable studio. We'll do it. Okay, let's do it. Let's get hey, Barb, I think I found the glass for this week's project. Uh, we're going to be making what we call a memory box. I found the top of the box around the top of this really retro kind of maybe almost a Celtic. I don't know if it's a Celtic or not, but yeah, Celtic green. It's like a ring. Yeah, design. so, you know, and we're going to make a memory box. So this will be the top edge of it, and then around the bottom will be clear. We'll have a mirror in the bottom, and we'll also illuminate it with some battery-operated candles. Hi, everybody. We've, uh, we're going to, this week, we're going to be making a box, and this box had memories from a trip or something for a box this is this glass is a celtic glass so i want to show it to you in the light and this is going to be our top of the box so we have four color pieces at the top we have four sides for the bottom for the memory part we have a mirror for the bottom, the very bottom. And then where the candles sit is this piece right here. So we get reflection going on all the time. Now, our box is four inches by four inches. And in order to make this box fit together, you're gonna cut two pieces of glass that are going to go on the bottom four inches okay so and then they're gonna they're gonna sit here like this okay so then what I need you to do is you're gonna the other two sides you're gonna cut four and a quarter inches now that's gonna overlap the two sides that you just stuck on here and it's going to overlap it like that. Now, I want to get Barbara to get a good shot of that. That corner. And that's the corner that it makes is right here, okay? So it overlaps it by an eighth of an inch. And that makes a nice corner for us to clean up. And, of course, if I hold that right there, it does the same thing on this end. Now, with this particular box, we have to be able to get our memories inside there. So we're going to be putting three sides on. And then we're going to load our, and then we're going to be putting, we're going to attach our top. And that's going to leave this end open to put our memories in. And then when we sit this up, this piece of glass will sit on the outside so that it can't fall through. And we'll solder it and we'll have our memories encapsulated forever for you. So what we need to do now, we just need to get everything cleaned up. We need to get it foiled. And then I'm going to show you how to put this thing together. Hi, everybody. We're back and we are getting ready to put the bottom section of this box together, which is our memory section. Barbara and I have gathered all of our memories together from a previous yarn bomb project that we did. And uh, so now what we're going to do is because this bottom has to be perfectly clean when we, after we install our memories and before we put the cap on it. So what we're going to do here, everybody, is we are just going to tin everything. We're going to tin everything, all of the parts that we're doing today. 
and guess what we're gonna use our little our little helper right here we're gonna stand our foil up and use our little helper so now what we want to do is we want to go around and get all of this tin now this is the section above your memories okay the section above your memories that you look through to see the bottom section of our project we want to make sure that we tin the whole thing all the way around and then we're going to give it time to cool and then i'm going to show you how to put this bottom section of the box together and then we're going to add our memories once you're done tinning though do not forget this box has to be clean. There's enough, when you tin it, there's enough solder around it to hold it, to put it together when you tack it. So you don't have all this solder everywhere. This section of the box will not be soldered on the inside. The tinning's gonna take care of that and we're gonna hold it together from the outside. Again, just keep an eye on it. Keep it clean. Make sure you get, get it really clean because we're gonna take and we're gonna tin all the way, I'm sorry, Barb, that's in the way there. So we're gonna tin this all the way around and we're gonna do it on both sides. If we don't, notice I'm using my soldering iron to hold it, but I just wanna hold it for a second. I don't wanna break the glass. So we're just gonna take that and tin it, okay? So now that we've got that part done, set your soldering iron over. This is the most important part right here. So we're gonna take it from this to that. Okay, here we go. Keep in mind too, is after you tend this, your glass is still gonna be a little bit hot. So don't, you know, spray water directly on it because you're gonna thermal shock it. And we don't wanna thermal shock anything. So we're gonna get this cleaned up. And we are gonna use some flux, but it's only gonna be on the outside. And our main goal here is to get everything tacked together. I'm gonna to stick the bottom of this box So now we're tacking this together like that. Okay. It's where you need three hands, right? Yeah, this is exactly where uh, three hands. Remember I told you that <clears throat> we cut two sides, the length of the top of the box, and then we cut the other two sides are a quarter of an inch longer. And that is going to allow this to go on there just like this. See? So what we're going to do here, again, we're going to come over here. There's plenty of solder there. We don't need to add anything. We're just going to... Put it together. Okay. So you tack the two top corners and you come down here and you squeeze that like that and it squares it up. And then you just take and tack that. See that? Boom. Boom. That's it. So now we have three 
of our four sides on. And now the one thing that we want to make sure of is that there are no paw prints inside. So now we have that. <clears throat> And now we're going to put the bottom on it. So the mirror itself, which is right here, which is the bottom. I'm going to tell you it's not a secret. It's just something that you really need to do if you're going to be using mirror in the bottom of boxes. After you cut your mirror, grind it a little bit, take some sandpaper and just smooth the back edge which is the painted side of the mirror. Once you've smoothed that, take your clear fingernail polish, go around the edges, and allow it to dry before you foil your mirror. Now this is already done, and what that does is it makes sure that the acid or the flux won't eat the silver off the back of your mirror anytime soon. So the way I cut this is for this to go right in there. Just like that. So I'm going to tack this and then I'm going to get down in there with some glass cleaner and we're going to clean that up just a little bit more. But I want you to see right here and right here, tiny bit, just a, just no solder, tiny bit of flux. Look, done. Done. Right here, right here. Tiny bit, tiny bit. See, when you tin this project, it gives you what you need, okay? So now, just keep in mind, what we want to do here is we have a little tiny bit of flux and we're going to we're going to use just we need just a tiny bit of solder So now you can see, see the mirror inside the bottom of this lovely little creation. So now we're going to load our memories. Our little Google eyes. Mm -hmm. And this is a piece of cherry red glass made from 24 karat gold. This is going in this box. Okay. Now we have our memories all trapped. And you know what, everybody? We have one more side to put on. Again. We don't need a whole lot of anything flux wise. We're going to come right here and we're going to There's our memory box. Just like our bottom, we have two pieces cut four by four, and we have two pieces cut four by four and a quarter. We're gonna tin these pieces here, and then we'll come right back and show you how to finish up the box. Go ahead. 
Do you like think the... I'm Jim Carrey or something? <laughs> Go Fort Street. So hi everybody. You know we finished we finished tinning our top. We've got our memories from Lake City and Barbara's famous yarn bomb. So now we're gonna put this finish putting this box together. Now remember, and I'll show you right here. We have one piece one piece of this glass is four inches wide and four inches tall. The other piece of glass, just like in the bottom, is four and a quarter inches wide and four inches tall. So what we're going to do here is just exactly what we did on the bottom. We're going to put a piece and then we're going to lay a piece right up against it. When we lay that piece right up against it, boom, all of a sudden it's holding itself up and we're going to have a memory box from a Celtic glass from a memory from Barbara and I that is very fond to our hearts. This is awesome. Let's finish it up. So and if you haven't noticed, we're working. The title of our video is Stained Glass on the Go. And we're actually building this box inside RDRV today. So the first thing we're gonna do is tack solder that corn. Okay, so we're going to come over here. Now, you know, because we've cleaned each piece of glass after we tend it, we still need to flux it each time. And now we're going to dive right in. Now, I want you, you know, and I know that all of you can see where we're working, which is directly on our dinette here in the motorhome. So we're gonna take this, we're just, just gonna take a little tiny, boom, just like that. And then we're gonna turn this around so you can see what's happening. Now, you know, you could leave it like that and put a candle right, put a candle right back here. Boom. But we're not going to do that. We're going to make sure that we put this glass to the outside just like we wanted it to. A little tiny bump of solder right there just like that. Okay. Solder is a beautiful thing when it's hot. It rocks. So now we're going to take this. We're going to turn it up on its side. You can see the mirror. You can see everything going on inside. And and uh, now because this piece is four and a quarter outside here to outside here is four and a quarter so guess what happens that lays right on there oh and it's awesome it's a very simple box my father you designed this box and he's, of course, he's no longer with us. He's been gone for about 23 years now. But uh, he designed this box and used to put people's memories in them all the time. They'd bring him a little brown bag full of memories and he'd build them a box, charge them for it. You know, he enjoyed, I think he enjoyed building stained glass windows as much as he enjoyed repairing jet engines. It was just his his life and he loved it and there you have it so what we're gonna do just a little tiny tack this is tack solder solder is your most expensive commodity in your tool arsenal twenty dollars plus a pound so use as little of it as you can but make sure your project stays together this is awesome you can see this right here. 
I'm going to ask Barb to come over and take a look where these two, where these two corners here are going to join together. I'm going to flux that and flux that. Now watch. I don't even need any solder. Watch. That tops together. Now this one over here, I want just a smidge of solder. Oh, what? Look what happened. So, but this top edge here, I want this top edge to be rolled just like the, just like that on the brush. Okay. So let me show you how to do, let me show everybody how to do that. And it just takes a little bit of solder, a little bit of solder. And, I, and this is the touch and go method, but this will finish your solder. See, see how that's beating up right there? Watch, just a little tiny bit of, see it beat up, boom. And what this does is it gives this top edge of your box of a lot of rigidity because your hand's gonna be going in and out of here. If this is rounded, it's gonna be much stronger than it would be if you just left it flat. And if you leave it flat, it looks like it comes from somewhere other than you. So fix it up, make it pretty. Because this is one of those projects that will make anyone smile and again on boxes it's the only time you're gonna see me smearing my soldering iron okay just like that and let's go over here we see a nasty little thing And before we get started talking about the project, I want to thank all of our subscribers. I want to thank everyone that subscribed this week because now we're at 500 subscribers. This morning we had 500 subscribers. I'm so excited. That was awesome. And thank you guys very much. Thank you all for subscribing to our channel, liking what Barbara and I are doing for you. And we have a lot of other things that are exciting coming up for you. Yep. As well. Thanks again, y'all. I hope you enjoy the project. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You know it's our favorite finger. That's right. The thumbs up is our favorite finger. <laughs> Have a great week. See you next Monday. See you next Monday night.